Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today it's going to be about installing Windows 7 onto QEMU with the help of Emily, of course. So first of all, I want to say that of course there are dependencies. I showed you how to install Emigui on Windows and Linux with that with its dependencies once. I'm not going to get into this again, so please uh, follow the links in the description if you haven't installed this yet. I'm going to be using Linux Mint 21.1, but uh, yeah, this tutorial can be followed on Windows and other Linux distributions as well, as long as it works. For your info, on Linux, if it doesn't work normally, type in sudo emigree to run it. And on Linux, it is recommended that you copy everything from uh, for this system onto this hard drive this system is on. But now click on new virtual machine and we we'll name it Windows 7. This is the 64-bit version by the way, I forgot to say that. Click next. Machine, that could I will decide. CPU depends. If you're going to use this, uh, the KVM acceleration, then use housed. If not, uh, use QMU64 or something like that. Just avoid iStack client and avoid anything your processor is older than with the pos your processor is older than that. Otherwise, uh, anyway, we are select host because this is what I because I'm going to use KVM. And for WAN, it, for the 64 bit version, uh, has give it 4 GB, that is it more than enough. VHD users create a new router hard drive. I even made a new folder. And we're going to name it win7.img and we make it 50 gigabytes. Uh, we solve more if you want to do a little bit more than showing the audience how to install it. Please click next EGA. For that we select either STD or QXL but I select uh, for the in this video I select QXL oh. for the network you can uh, leave the E1000 and for the mouse you can select the USB mouse but you can also leave the PS2 mouse click next Click next again. For the sound card, select Intel HDA. Unless you don't need it. For the CPU cores, uh, that depends. If you have a Qualcomm processor or better, then I could recommend two. But in my case, I leave it to one as I only have a dual core. And I need some performance to record this video. So for keyboards, select the USB keyboard. And for the keyboard layout, uh, either I leave it to ENUS or if it's available, choose your keyboard layout. I, even though I do have the channel one, I leave it as is, as that's only for systems that don't behave correctly. And we don't need any of these. Add USB support, of course, USB EHCI. And now, if you're going to enable KVM, type in enable KVM as an additional argument. If you're using, an, not, uh, if you're not using a hardware acceleration, at least type in XLTNG. So that it is a little bit faster. But I'll leave it to enable KBM. 
my computer luckily supports that and select start virtual machine it may take up to 10 seconds of course until your virtual machine shows up Browse. Luckily, I stored it and boot from D, set to system, and start VM. Okay, in case uh, it uh, makes some issues, either compile the latest version on Linux. Or, uh, what I'm going to do now is run qmuimg from the command line. That is the best thing I can suggest on if you installed qmu with app apt and it's not the latest version. I mean, and with that I mean uh, older than version 7. Dash M I M G create dash F Q car two and then win seven dot I M G twenty gigabyte. We make it 50 and then you are going to run emigre again and then uh, click on that little machine wow with point D Okay. Oh, additionally on Linux. Make sure it's without... Make sure the path is without any spaces. Because Linux can... Some Linux versions aren't like it. The locks can lie sometimes. Okay, I let the boot from C, but should show the tabs in case something goes wrong. But in reality, what you can just do is press. Ah, now I know what's wrong. Okay, it it kind of su I kind of suck. Okay, maybe you don't have to compile the latest version. I just forgot that Linux is a bit <laughs> special. On Windows, I recommend you to. Control of F for full screen. What I'm also going to do here Control F and if you want to get the null for the house again, Control or G, that is for everyone. So now let's have the focus on Windows 7 because of course it's n and now it's about Windows 7. Select the keyboard layout, click next and store now. Uh if you 
uh, trying, uh, just trying out Windows 7. You can choose any edition. Or... If you don't bother. Uh, but if you plan to use it in the long term and have a product key, then go with uh, whatever you have. In my case, I install I, I just install Windows 7 Ultimate or something like that. I accept the license terms, custom. And click on next. And you might want to close out of any unnecessary application. But leave them to be open as otherwise you also close QMU. And now I'll leave it running. Okay, there we are. Type in your name. Or whatever you want to type in. You can click next or press enter. Type a password if you want. I won't. Of course, you can type in a portal key, but this is only for demonstration purposes. So I'll skip that. Uh, that depends. Just select. Yes, recommended settings. Select the correct time zone. Hope that your mouse doesn't get stuck and click next. Click on public network if you want extra security uh, and that doesn't depend on which network you have in reality 
public network is uh, Windows is the safest. Where Windows is the most secure. And now uh, Windows is uh, finalizing the settings. Of course, what you to do with the VM is your thing. But I, as you can see, I give you recommendation. Also, Windows 7 is auto support. Who is supported as a death alert? Also, if you can't hear the audio on Windows, uh, in my video, that's because uh, OBS is already using the audio drivers and Linux uh, tends to prevent to emu from uh, playing sound if OBS is recording something or if OBS is even open. And as you can see, TV slides where something basically. Of course, if you chose to install QXL, you can install its drivers, but that's too complicated. And also there's this GPU pass-through, then you have to install the graphics drivers for your uh, graphics card. Anyway, so uh, same for VMware, if you decide to use uh, the VMware graphics, then you have to extract the graphics drivers from the VMware tools. But for now, I let it uh, do its job. And where? And I'll be right back. Okay, if we are here at the desktop, that is where the tutorial ends. Of course, what you can do, uh, I can personalize. You might or might not hear the sound. I can adjust the screen resolution. I set it to a 16 by 9 resolution for you guys, by the way. Then you can work on it. But for now, I say goodbye and see you in the next video.